you know, one important thing which I've seen in a lot of books is even in Dale Carnegie books on communication, how to win friends and influence people. It's like they are just like, you know, just listen to the get interested into the other person. That's not how it is. Right. If you're just going, you know, talking to a stranger, you can't just be, you know, keep on getting interested in the other person. That must be like, who is this guy? OK, I mean, people will become suspicious. Why are you getting so interested in me? So there's a way how you do it. OK, I'll, I'll tell you the exact sequence. It's so amazing. Basically, if you, you just tr try basically at once, at least in order to get, you know, in order to get a sense how it works. So first, let's say you meet with someone, any stranger, try to do something funny or say something funny, you know, because when you do something funny or tell something funny, it just reduces the effort or basically the stress levels of the other person. And when you reduce the stress level of the other person, it, you, when you make them feel good, basically they trust you more. Okay, so fun is, humor is the best way to increase trust or create trust with a stranger. So you can do something funny and then you always have to show respect to the force. I mean, you know, any anyone who you meet, and then when you met with them, you know, you have to create boundaries. You let's say if you meet with someone, you know, you are doing something funny, you are respecting them. You can't just ask them first time, are you single? You can't ask that thing, right? It's just like, it's just crossing boundary. You, you gradually increase boundary, okay? So that's the third thing which you do, create boundaries. You know, there are certain boundaries which you have to, you know, maintain. And then you get interested into the other person, okay? And after you inter get interested into the other person, you know, you have you, you want them to talk more about themselves. And after that, you know, you maintain the relationship. Now the relationship is created. Now basically, you know, you greet those people, you know, basically let's say you get their contact number, you greet them on different festivals or different, you know, events. And then basically, you know, you can give them free PDFs or you can create a broadcast or whether it's on WhatsApp or any other way, always take phone numbers. Otherwise you don't know anyone, phone number or email. So basically it's like, you know, then you are maintaining that relationship and then after a certain point, you know, all, then you can think, you know, you can discuss how you can advance the relationship to do something which is beneficial for all, okay, something. Then, then it's about advancing. So first you meet, you create trust, then you maintain it, then you advance it. That's the only way, basically I should say that that's the best way, not the only way, but that's the best way, you know, to create a relationship with someone. And that's the best proper way, I should say, a very proper way to communicate with someone rather than just getting interested with strangers.